is it time to appreciate that an idea may be as unique as a country's identity and culture? There is always a continuing inertia in any society. You have to nudge the system to change. So innovations are a precursor of a state of being where people say, look, I'm not satisfied with what's happening around me, and therefore, let us try to find a new solution to the problem that we are facing. In 1988, Professor Anil Gupta got thinking about how creative knowledge holders across rural India were not being acknowledged by the system. In search of a fair solution, he came upon the metaphor of the honeybee. Honeybee does what intellectuals don't do. It does cross-pollination. The flowers don't feel short change when you take when they, they attract the bees. And third, whatever they, honey they collect, they don't keep it themselves. So the Honeybee Network was born. It brings together like-minded individuals, innovators and farmers, policy makers, entrepreneurs and non-governmental organizations. It promotes people-to-people -people learning, cross-pollination of ideas in local languages and an acceptance of individual and community creativity. It protects people's knowledge rights and shares the benefits. Mansukhbhai was born into a family of traditional potters. But he wanted to move beyond traditional clayware. I have a lot of fun with the new work. But I also want to do this work that I don't want to do the harm of the environment, nor our health. Over a decade, he has developed an entire Over a decade, he has developed an entire range of products that include water filters, creatively designed and assembled non-stick clay pans, inspired earthen pressure cookers. But what he is most known for is his Mitti Cool, a refrigerator made of clay. In Gujarat, when in 2001, the water was broken, the water was broken, the water was broken. So, some of the people wrote that the water was broken. So, I came to my mind that the water was broken for the people. तो हमने सोचा कि हम एक मिट्टी का जो फ्रिज बनाएंगे इसमें न बिजली की जरूरत होगी न न मेंटेनेंस होना चाहिए और इसके अंदर रखा हुआ सब्जियां और फ्रूट कम से कम पांच से आठ दिन फ्रेश रहना चाहिए। It took him three years and many attempts. He experimented with various soil and fridge designs. He mortgaged his family home. Finally, in 2005, he came up with his Mitti Cool Fridge. I am talking about my mind, I am a chanchal. I am not sitting in a place. I want to do something, I want to do something, I want to do something. But the mind has made such a God that it is not a place in a place. If you look at the machines that he has invented, or the big kiln that he has made for the refrigerator to be baked, all these are very complex machineries. A lot of mind, a lot of thinking has gone into them. They are systematic innovations. Mansukh Pai is a serial grassroots innovator who pursued his dream with a vision that reflects a combination of traditional knowledge and technology inputs. We need to develop frugal innovations. Innovations which cost less but compromise not the least on the quality of service and the product. It has never been about one person, or one organization, or even one idea. These are efforts based on intuition, experience, and limited resources.
In 1993, out of the Honeybee Network, Srishti emerged as a voluntary organization to build a value chain around the innovations. We were a great believer in the fact that formal science and technology can add tremendous value to the people's knowledge. Unless we add value, unless we link the innovation investment enterprise, it wouldn't work. It gave rise to Gyan, a regional incubator for converting innovations into enterprise. So each institutional innovation that took place in the progression of Honeybee Network's activities was essentially a response to a gap that existed in the ecosystem. As the institutions grew organically, it enabled more people to find their own solutions. You know that our society is very compliant, very conformist. So this indefatigable spirit of dissent, the ability to defy the authority and come out with their ideas, every innovator in that sense is also someone who is rebelling against the order, isn't it? Born in a small village of handloom weavers, Malaysian was but a 20-year-old when he started on his dream project to innovate on what had remained a status quo for centuries. In traditional Pochampalli weaving, the yarn goes through different processes before reaching the loom. Mostly done by women. One of the hand winding steps is known as asu, which involves a continuous hand movement around semicircular pegs. 9,000 times for one sari. This asu process left Malaysian's mother with a lifelong discomfort. Ilanti parini mother ka mama yesu nedi thano baga ante rozu chestu chestu ibad varthu. I pani cheeda ani kimi ko chala custom undi. I pani mere chele ro nen veere panjas ko ni bida ani thano na to uke antu neda matam. His answer was inventing a mechanized asu. Malaysian dropped out of school when he was just thirteen. The process often seemed a hopeless endeavor that stretched over seven years. In the end, he did succeed. Malaysia is a sample where uh, formal knowledge, education is not essential to be creative. And he's continuously proving that point time and again by improving the, what he has done and finding new things. Not satisfied, he taught himself software programming and is working on the digital prototype of the ASU. The Lakshmi ASU, named after his mother, has changed the landscape of weaving in the area and the life of women in the community. There's a beautiful word in Hindi and Sanskrit and many other languages called as Samvedana. Sam means equal, Vedna means pain. When I internalize, when I feel the pain of someone else as intensely as that person feels it, then that pain becomes mine. There are innovators who are troubled by the pain and inconvenience of others and try to solve those problems. For inclusive development to happen, we have to understand the richness inherent in the mind of the people. The language shapes the habit of thought. And another example of that is bottom of the pyramid. As if people are at the bottom of all pyramids. Economic pyramid, ethical pyramid, knowledge pyramid, institutional pyramid. No, no, 
these people that we are talking about, the creative people, are not poor in creativity. They are not poor in ethics. Amrit Pai, at 68 years of age, is a remarkable example. A compassionate soul, his life experiences have pushed him to find solutions to problems faced by people around him. किस काम पर कौन सी मुश्किल है वो मैं देखता हूँ और उसका मैं विचार करता हूँ वो कैसे मैं हल कर लूँ। One of his early innovations is the tilting bullock cart. The basic design of the Indian bullock cart has been the same for hundreds of years, with the harsh burden falling on the animals. Amrit Pai conceived the idea of a bullock cart which would be similar to a tractor with a hydraulic system for lifting the trolley. He has also developed several innovative farm implements, including a wheat sowing box and a groundnut digger. He has mentored his son Bharat, who has invented a reciprocating windmill, among others. कुछ ऐसा करके जाना है हमें कि हमें पीछे की पेड़ी को कुछ नया देंगे और अच्छा देंगे. Amrit Bhai is also on a perpetual hunt for people who have come up with creative ideas. जिस लोगों गांव में रहते हैं उसके पास कुछ ज्ञान है वो ज्ञान तो है पर लेकिन अनुभव के साथ ज्ञान है. Till date, he has scouted about 96 entries across the state and discovered about 50 innovators and traditional knowledge holders. Drawing upon such experiences, the National Innovation Foundation was set up in 2000. So the whole chain from scouting and documentation to validation to value addition, business development, risk capital, intellectual property right protection, dissemination, all these functions were incorporated in the institutional structure of NIF. The core belief is that when creative people irrespective of economic standing or formal education, come together to craft their own ecosystems, it helps make the world more collaborative. Looking for a low-cost alternative to pump water in their fields, Mehtar and his brother Mushtaq devised a simple windmill made up of bamboo and tin sheets from less than 100 US dollars. An innovation triggered by their own needs for using diesel sets was draining their resources. That this windmill is innovative not because there's anything new in terms of the wing spans or the way it pumps water. It is new because Mushtaq Ahmed and Mehtar Hussain asked two questions which engineers don't ask. Does it matter whether our paddy field is filled up, is irrigated in four hours or 40 hours? And does it matter whether water comes into the field uniformly or in spurts? So they devised a windmill without a gearbox. <laughs> तीसरे दिखलू जाता माने जितने हुईल तो घुरी घुरी माने ये माने निरुल तो माने बेजी तो मारी थके। This formed an image in his mind. One day, while resting in the field, he observed a kite in the sky, and that triggered the thought of harnessing wind energy in some way. The brothers had never seen or heard of a windmill before. अमित ये सिंधा कोरी अता विंडमिलर Drawing Kurilu, drawing Kuri Ami Division a field dots tapon Gorilu. Their initial attempts were made of bamboo, wood, old tires, and tin. 
all locally available resources. Their windmill has now been adapted to pump out brine in the salt pans of Gujarat. So from eastern fringe of our country, the western end of our society, the innovation moved. So therefore we must recognize that it is not just that people solve problems, but sometimes they can push the frontiers of our understanding, frontiers of our science and technology. Over 25 years, the scouting for grassroots innovators has been an exciting challenge, involving extensive field work to search for experimenters and knowledge experts in local communities. There were 23 Gram Vidya Peach Gandhian institutions in Gujarat. We asked these students when they, we invited them for this purpose of scouting, that look for three things. Tell us examples of what you have learned in your life, which are interesting, intriguing, or inspiring. So when they shared their experiences, we underlined, oh yes, this is what we're looking for. And that was the orientation. Boys and girls went to villages on foot, one village to another, and discovered thousands and thousands of people. The quest for innovators has also involved journeys into the interiors of the country to learn from the life and experiences of people. In a workshop of people, farmers, innovators, we asked this question as to how do we improve our efficiency in learning? And they said, why don't we walk together? So this idea was taken forward and the concept of Shodh Yatra was born. These semi-annual Shodh Yatras involve treks through rural Indian villages to uncover innovative thinking. To meet people who solve problems through their presence of mind. To honor them and to encourage the curiosity of the children. And in summer we go to places which are hot. In winter we go to the places which are cold. Idea of voluntary suffering. We will organize biodiversity competition in the Shodh Yatra. We will organize idea competition. We will organize recipe competition. Basically to uncover knowledge of women, of children, of adults. So this concept of Shodh Yatra is a concept to celebrate creativity at the doorstep of the people who have solved problems. Along the way, they also collect information and acknowledge traditional knowledge experts, but include only the healers who have developed unique products. What is common to these innovators is an innate curiosity and the strength to never give up. Dharamveer is a farmer and a herbalist who has redefined enterprise with his multi-purpose food processing machine that makes possible on-farm processing of herbs, flowers and fruits. I had to think about this machine. You can take it to the farm, 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 take it to the chili sauce, take it to the farm, take it to the farm, take it to the farm. What is the farm fresh? The farm fresh is the farm that is processed. An inherent interest in herbs and their healing properties led him to plant aloe vera in his farm. But he needed something to process the yield into useful products. He was ready with the first prototype in 2006 for juice extraction of aloe vera. He modified it and used it to extract essence as well. Still not satisfied, he made more improvements till he could use the machine for processing several farm produce. His innovation is a freestanding cylindrical unit which can extract, 
pulverize, mix and grind raw materials and also acts as a boiler, sterilizer and a cooker. It can work with aloe vera, flowers, herbs, fruits and vegetables, nuts and spices. मेरे को जब भी कोई ऐसी चीज लगती है कि हमारी लेबर की बचत हो सकती है हमारा ये काम जो है ना एकदम जल्दी हो सकता है क्या इसके ऊपर मशीन बना सकते हैं जो इस फील्ड में नहीं है जो हमारे देश के वैज्ञानिक नई नई खोज करके कुछ हमारे बीच में लेकर के आ रहे हैं क्या उनसे अलग हम कुछ कर सकते हैं एट टाइम्स धर्मवीर आल्सो जॉइंस द शो द यात्रास लाइक अदर इनोवेटर्स to encourage people to think differently and allow them to use his innovation and improvise on it resulting in a cross pollination of ideas accessibility is beyond just awareness accessibility is beyond just showing the solution accessibility is to convert my aspiration into my capacity along with the willingness to get the solution experiment on it see whether i need to improve upon it and then i benefit from it the need for what they call as mass sourcing crowd sourcing is emerging crowd sourcing results in a vibrancy of ideas when it lends itself to a large number of novel initiatives it represents an open source ideology now there are many ways in which open innovation platform works we can pose the challenge they come up with solution we pose a unmet need and they suggest how to fill that need ideally the mass sourcing should generate employment opportunities self employment opportunities all around the country many times we don't realize that the problems that common people face are not just in india but many other parts of the world and sometimes these many of these problems are common so what apachan has developed in kerala could be useful to many people and it was not surprising that a professor from boston also imported tree climber because she wanted her students to study biodiversity on the top of the tree canopy so we have what we call as g2g model g2g or grassroots to global stands for a system of reverse globalization where grassroots innovations and products have a potential to reach global markets the key to social improvement lies in sourcing ideas from the ground up until date 174,000 ideas, innovations or traditional knowledge practices have been mobilized across India. The need of the hour is to link all knowledge-rich, economically poor people with modern institutions of science and technology, design, venture funds, manufacturing and marketing to scale up their innovations. inclusive innovation requires creativity which is imbued with compassion and works through collaboration every single person of our country and for the matter of the world should believe should have this faith that they are capable of generating creative solution can india become the largest provider of open source technology in the world can innovations be recognized as instruments of empowerment can local knowledge culture and institutions bring about a mental revolution it is happening and the future is an exciting possibility